Now that you've understood how basic auth works, I'm going to show you how you can make a basic auth authentication request from a client plugin. So we've used Postman browser plugin to make a REST API request so far. Postman has this feature for doing basic authentication in your REST API request. This process is different for different plugins and there are like a bunch of different uh, browser plugins which let you make REST API calls. I'm gonna demonstrate this with Postman. Uh, once you know how this works with this plugin, it should be fairly simple to translate this information to the plugin of your choice on the browser of your choice. So I have Postman open over here. Uh, the way to send authentication, basic authentication information in your request is using this tab over here. Right now we have normal selected. You see here there is this tab which says basic auth. So if you click on it, it gives you an option of entering the username and the password. So what we've learned uh, in the previous lesson is you, with basic auth, you need to take the username, add to it the colon, and then following that is the password, and then you do a base64 encoding and add it to the header, right? So you don't have to manually do this. This control lets you do that automatically. So here, let's say I have username as user and the password as password. Now, all I have to do is click refresh headers. And now this plugin has actually done the work for us. You see here, it has added the authorization header and it's added the value, which is basic space and the base64 encoded value, which is the username colon password, right? We've learned this in the previous tutorial. It's doing all that for us, right? It's doing the base64 encoding and preparing this header information. Now, all that's left to do is enter your request URL over here and click send. The header value is already pre-filled, okay? So hopefully this uh, makes sense. This is very simple basic auth uh, being done by a browser plugin. So Postman also has a different version. It's a newer version as of today. Uh, you see here it says get Postman 3.0. There's a very good chance that you're gonna be using Postman 3.0 while you're watching this tutorial. So I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So here's the Postman 3.0 window. Uh, again, the concept is the same. You have this authorization section over here. Right now it says no auth. I can choose basic auth over here. Again, it gives the username and the password. Now I can enter the user and the password, and uh, when I click on update request, now we see here that has gone to the header. You see authorization header with the value basic space and the base64 encoded value. So this is what we're gonna use to send base64 authorized uh, request to our API. We're gonna implement an API in the next lesson which does base64 authentication. So it's gonna look at this value and then take the username and password out of it and authenticate. Okay, so this is what we're gonna use to send that request to our API that we can develop next. And uh, if you can see here, there are a bunch of other authentication mechanisms in these plugins. You see Digest Auth, we kind of briefly mentioned that in the previous lesson. There's also OAuth 1.0. So these, as you can see, have a whole lot more inputs to fill. And uh, we're not gonna worry about that in this course. We're just doing basic auth. So hopefully the way to send this request is now clear. Uh, let's go to the next lesson where we actually implement an authenticated REST API.